ready for action. Hey, hey, folks, how we doing there? How we doing out there? How's your drive time commute? Um, <laughs> we are back with an exciting episode. How do I know it's exciting? We haven't recorded it yet, but uh, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> it may be exciting <laughs> on this episode of... Because this Awesome is back, for right? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm Kevin Hill. That's Keith, Keith Holland, and our guest today is the is a dude who freaking awesome. Ever since I know him, he's <laughs> he's just been a big jar of awesomeness. Right? <laughs> it's the return of the Drush bag. Right. Like, <laughs> Drew Wayne, that one's for Mike. <laughs> Back on the show. Let's kick into this shit and boogie down. John Panette. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do ups around here. <laughs> John Panette, he was pretty funny, huh? Yeah, man. Just a big old jolly fat guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. His fucking stand-up was great. The funniest shit is uh, his shit about uh, going to Italy. He's like, uh, he's like, they just kept bringing out food, and we were looking at each other like, I didn't order this. Stop ordering. Who ordered this? He's like, he's like. Halfway through the meal, Timmy died. He's like, he was too skinny. Like, he's like, he's like, oh. And he had that high voice. Like, yeah. I don't, I can't do an impression, but he's funny. Then you got the other big fat guy, Ralphie May. Oh yeah, Ralphie May was funny Rest too. In peace. <laughs> yeah, they're both dead. I believe. I know Ralphie May. Is. Yeah, the fat ones always die young. <laughs> yeah, the fat Farley ones always die young. <laughs> <laughs> Fat guys just wanna have fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so Drew, I mean, I'm happy that you came through today. You hit me up just the other day, and you, you kind of, you were like, you guys got a guest for the show or what? And I gotta tell you, you're like the only person who ever yeah. does that, right? <laughs> and I, I appreciate say, the hell out of it. Yeah, yeah, man. No, <laughs> I was like, I always have he's a good thinking time. of us, man. He's the first DMP MVP. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a word to all you out there listening. If if you want, just hit me up and uh, you know, come on the show. Yeah. That's it. That's a invite for it's, guests. It's a good time, man. Come. Just come. Hang Come out. shoot the shit. Yeah, That's shoot what it's all shit. about. That's all we do. Yeah. Don't <laughs> actually shit, but come shoot some. Yeah, don't so, poop you know, on the party. We're like we're like Rogan, but we don't have real opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> what's does, does what's a know? hard opinion that you have? And go. <laughs> a controversial stance on anything? Pineapple does go on pizza, goddammit. No, it doesn't. Actually, I'm with Kiefer on this one. No. Pineapple on pizza. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're never welcome back. Get <laughs> out. <laughs> There's been weirder shit on pizza. I don't know why everybody's... Like anchovies. Hug- like, yeah. And like, uh, nah. I, the, the, no, the shit I don't like is olives. I fucking... That's my stance. I'm like, no olives all no, the time. No that olives. That shit's gross. Mm-hmm. <laughs> salty buttholes. It's like, get gross. that off my food. Like, nah. <laughs> Wait, if you can actually put it on pizza and you like it, it goes on pizza. <laughs> we'll just have to agree to disagree. Skittles, <laughs> uh, neon gummy worms, licorice pizza, like the movie I watched. <laughs> licorice pizza. Oh, that's another the thing. The Paul Thomas Anderson. Black licorice, that's another thing I hate. Like <laughs> Sambuca, like all that kind of shit. I fucking Jaeger. don't like it. Hate Jaeger. Hate Jaeger. I hate it. And I don't understand the appeal. Like, the girl I'm trying to date, I was like, hey, you want to do a shot? She's like, sure. I was like, well, what do you shoot? She's like, Jaeger. I was like, I will buy you a shot of Jaeger, but I am not <laughs> drinking Jaeger. <laughs> Jaeger if we were at the bar right now, what would be your drink? Right now? Um, I, man, I've been 
getting into Jameson and Ginger again. Like I've been Jameson and Ginger. Right, Jameson hmm, and Ginger. Never had one of yeah. them. Yeah, it's I fuck with nice. Jameson. Yeah, though. it's a smooth. It's smooth, man. That's what I like about it. What about nice. you, Keith? What you drink? Beer. <laughs> <laughs> Just going for a beer. Yeah, so like I like I like I would have said that, but you like did. I said, I've like I get beer for free. I'm like I'm burnt out on beer. I get like two free beers a shift, and I'm just like, sometimes I'm like, I'm only drinking this because yeah. it's free, not Dude, because I want it. It's hard to regulate hard alcohol for I don't know what I just. It, I, I have a cut off like. Too, I, like you if go had, if I have four drinks like you go to would, 100 right away <laughs> with a, with shots and shit. Yeah, like that's why I'm like I have a cut off like I'll do like, it's like. I basically count it out. If I go up to six shots, I'm like, okay, I'm done for the night. I'm going to drink, start drinking water right now, and in an hour, I'm fucking leave. Right. This is what I did last night, because I, like, I knew I was like, I'm going to be fucking, I'm going to not feel good tomorrow, <laughs> but at least I'm not going to, like, black out and, like, really feel like shit all day. I was like, I can just, you know, do my little interview, wake up, drink a shit ton of water, eat some, like, junk food, and then sleep, like, take a nap, and yeah. I was fucking, I was on the money, like... I ever, got up and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go do this podcast. I feel amazing. I'm gonna take yeah. a shower. My junk's gonna be clean. Like yeah, it's gonna be a good me day." Me too. You, <laughs> and I manscaped. <laughs> hey, that is Give important. Us a sponsorship. It's for the ladies, okay? They don't want a bunch of dick hairs in their mouth. Like, yeah, you know, I didn't trim use it up, that boys. brand. Like, I just, you know, trimmed it with well, my facial razor. Yeah, no, but I'm kidding. Still, we'll do a sponsorship. <laughs> get that, uh, get that review out there for that new man lawnmower. Well, if I was at the bar, you know what I'd order. <laughs> what would you order? Because I watched a movie recently, uh, a White Russian. Hey, <laughs> hey, why not, right? Fucking, yep. Them just, things, them I mean, things you, are look, you already look like the dude, so you might as well just drink his drink, <laughs> right. too, man. I know. I wanted to be the dude for Halloween get one like year. A, like a house I know robe. We, were, I, we were supposed to be Walter and the dude, but it just oh, didn't work yeah. out. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was totally... I mean, I basically have like that facial like hair like set up anyway. I just this is what win. happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> When you fuck a stranger in the ass. <laughs> you see what happens? Amateurs, I can get you a toe. <laughs> I can get you a toe by 3 o'clock. <laughs> With nail polish. <laughs> uh, what's, what's your favorite Coen Brothers movie? Do you know? I just watched one earlier today. Man, it's pro- honestly, it's probably The Big Lebowski. Honestly. I know, right? Like, that one, I mean... I'm, they don't make bad movies, but it's no. like, I don't know. There's just something special about that one, man. Did it's you watch like, that Netflix one, uh, Ballad of Buster Scruggs? No, that one I oh. haven't seen. That was fun. It, it's uh, like a bunch of short stories. Oh, okay. I just, I don't know. I was like, I remember when that came out, and it was like too similar to like a bunch of the fucking Adam Sandler movies that were coming out, like the ridiculous, like, I like eight that or whatever. Movie too. Oh, uh,. But I just Ridiculous like six or, yeah, yeah, whatever that shit was. Like all those like <laughs> all those like movies coming out were just like they were just a little too silly for me. And I like I mean I like I like a good silly movie, but I don't know, I was just like I couldn't get into it. And I was like, ah man. I was yeah. like, I don't wanna fucking he try and watch the flies balls off. <laughs> I thought Taylor Lautner was hilarious in that movie. Yeah, dude. Well, he had a third nipple or something. Right, and, yeah. And he had a thick neck, so when they tried to hang him, he was just like, <laughs> just like <laughs> fucking around. Gosh, <laughs> boy. You know, I'll say this like about modern movies. I like, my biggest problem with modern movies right now is either everything has to be like this big, like action blockbuster. And it's like, I'm like so tired of those movies. Or it's like everything has to have like a twist ending. Like, oh, there's a big secret reveal. But it's like, yeah, okay, I kind of figured yeah, that out. They, and it's dumb. They leave like, it open. To yeah, like, for it's like a another... sequel. Yeah, I hate that shit. I was like, you don't get like movies like Big Lebowski or yeah. fucking Slevin or like, any of that anymore. Like that are like cool little action pieces. But they like... Or like the story is—they're like, smart. Yeah. yeah, everybody's making their money on Marvel movies. Yeah, and, and I, was, I know. And then fucking Warner Brothers is just trying to do the same thing with. Did DC you watch the movies. new Spider-Man? Okay, I, I give I give you that. The new Spider-Man <laughs> I haven't is watched it. dope. I haven't watched it, but oh, it but was so I, I you know good. I'm I'm not really into those movies, but um you know Mike liked it and shit. I I've heard good things about it. Willem Dafoe's back in it, right? Yeah, and so is um uh, Alfred. Uh, Octopus? Yeah, yeah, the guy that played Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2, and Jamie Foxx is in it. Doc Ock. And, um... Is he still, uh, Shocker? 
Er. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He yeah, runs he's, up uh, the fucking he's electro, yeah, yeah, he's electro. Shoves electro, it in your butthole. And then, uh, I don't remember his name, but the dude that played Sandman is in it, too. Oh, is he? Yo. Oh. So are they oh. doing, like, the... Yep. And, uh, Who is he... that guy? He's from Sideways? Yep. Yeah, he's a fucking great actor, Do you like dude. that movie, Sideways? I do, I do. I it's like really it a lot. Good, uh, yeah, yeah. Paul Giamatti. Um, but, uh, I don't know if I've seen that movie yet. But I know it's about I wine and shit. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I, I want to spoil it because the movie's been out for so long. Which one? Uh, so this new Spider-Man movie, why oh, everybody I don't loves care. it. Like Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire come back, oh, and it's fucking yeah, dope. I've like, heard about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it was like, uh, dude. Is that, okay, I gotta, okay, so it's, I keep seeing like a video on like Facebook and shit where it's like uh, <laughs> Peter Parker and Doc Ock meeting, and then he's like the first time they meet, and then it's uh, him going back, and then he's like, oh, Parker. You've grown up, and he's like, ah. "Parker." He's like, "How you doing?" Talking to trying to do mind. better. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> is yeah. that from that movie? Yeah, yeah, it's from that movie, man. It was, it, dude. It, like for like someone who like grew up on, because my mom took the to me to see those movies when I was a little kid. So like, I grew up on like the Tobey Maguire ones. Yeah, so for him to like come back as Spider Man, I remember liking was those. Really dope. Like it was really dope, and it was cool to see like all three of them together. Like everybody hates on uh, Spider Man three with Tobey Maguire, but that shit with him walking down the street and all like that shit was it's funny, dude. Dude, it's, that shit it's was so the, fucking funny. It, dude, all the memes now from that are like it make it redeemed it. I was like, yeah, <laughs> we, yeah we wouldn't have these amazing <laughs> memes without. Like, yeah, but you got fucking Toe for Gray. Tope, is that his name? Tope for Tope Grace. For Grace. Venom. Yeah, yeah, it was a big mistake. What yeah. the fuck? But then you know what? We got Tom Hardy as Venom. Yeah. That's kind of dope. Like Eric yeah. Foreman to be fucking Venom. Right, now it's <laughs> Tom Hardy, which right. is much more suited. I haven't watched uh, the one with Carnage in it. Woody Harrelson. Or yeah, Woody. that yeah. one was like... Woody Harrelson. That one kind of sucked because they tried to like do a big love story in it. And I was just like, dude, there's... there's just let them let it be what it is. Weird space aliens trying to kill each other. Like you don't need to be. like, don't put a love story in this shit. Like, <laughs> don't make it weird. Oh. <laughs> okay. Other than comic book movies, any other good movies you watch? Uh, I watched uh, the last night recently. Rewatched last night. It. Not last night. <laughs> the, uh, how was that? I, I've been Wait, watching what last is night. That? Last night. What is that? It's a uh, Clive kind of- Owen. It's got uh, the Adam Clive Driver Owen? in it, doesn't it? Like, no, it's Clive Owen. Oh, you're Owen, thinking of The Last Duel. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. Um, Is it a newer movie? No. Oh, I know the movie you're talking about. It's a little, It's an older movie. What yeah, is it called? Yeah. The Last Night? The Last Night. K and yeah. Night? Yeah. Like, oh. a, like a night. Where'd you watch it? YouTube. Free with ads. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. The Last Duel. I like it. It's a good movie. Dude, I uh, I watched this uh, movie called 2015. Oh, uh, it's a it's a Mia Soda, like he's a Japanese like anime director. It's like a modern take on Beauty and the Beast, but it was really really fucking good. Like it like the story was like so on it's point. Got terrible like, reviews, Keith. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> says 16. percent Don't give a shit. I liked it. Yeah, 46. But, I yeah, think but you know what? The all female. Ghostbusters movie has a 73%, so, you know, Does it? Rotten P- Tomatoes is full of shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. That yeah. Movie we always just bring up the Rotten Tomatoes on the on the uh, movie episodes. Bring them, bring them up on Bell. See what it says about Bell. Bell. It's spelled uh, B-E-L-L-E. Like the Bell of the Ball. She's my favorite distant, uh, Disney princess. Because she hot. Yeah, she's the best one. And she, and it's like Rick and Morty. She's like, she's like, my my kids are gonna be hot because their the mom's gonna one? be Jessica. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't watch a lot of Disney what? growing up. Yeah, Belle's the uh, Beauty and the Beast princess. Yeah. Oh, okay. I found a drama romance. A romance. A bromance. Oh, you did Belle 2013. That's oh, why. Oh, my bad. Bell Tower. What? What did you say? You said it was a. It's ninety five percent anime. Yep. Oh my God. It's really good though. Ninety five, ninety five. The story, the story is so oh, good, five, man. Because it's not like um, they don't do like the classic thing where like Bell and the Beast fall in love. Like it's like a it's modernized to where it's like they're like, the. She's a character. She plays a character bell, like on an online thing, and like the beast is like an online character. But instead of being like the how beastie he looks, boy, <laughs> instead of being how he looks in, uh, you don't want the Yingling the di- Keith. 
Go for it. All right. It's not how he looks in Disney. He uh, he looks more like a like a fucking grotesque dragon character. It's like uh, it's fucking it's fucking cool though. Like the animation is like just so beautiful too. To like check it out. Yeah, it's really really good. I can't good. do the animes, man. <laughs> can't do the animes, do it, bub. man. What? Hey, anime but here's the so thing. Good. Sitting in front of you um, is uh, something you drew. On the podcast, like <laughs> two years ago, I think. Yep, yep what it is. Drew, Drew. Somewhat, something oh, like that. It, it, it was uh, the start of the fetus dun, fights dun, drawing. Boy, So, fetus fights was a thing we randomly came up with uh, <laughs> on one of the early podcasts. Um, I think Mike was on that episode, yeah. too. He was, yeah. And, uh,. <laughs> It started by like I don't know Keith and was talking about how he got shared presents with his brother. Yeah. And I was like, you should have devoured him in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> and then Drew was like, oh, that just reminded me. Or that just made me come up with a name for a song. <laughs> yeah. Called, like, what was it? What was? And it? then there we started. <laughs> it was like a. Uh, uh, devoured in the womb or yeah, something like that. And yeah. then Kevin was like, "Oh man, no, we should call it fetus fights." And I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah." And the finishing move would be like a little scalpel, like coming in and like drilling it apart. Like, <laughs> and then you, and we were talking like, about hook it. attack, no, or hanger we, attack, as if it was like <laughs> oh, a, yeah, coat hanger, like, coat a, like hanger doing attack. a bo- doing like abortion, yeah, <laughs> fetus fights. <laughs> this shit was ridiculous. <laughs> My bad. No, Playing good. footsie with you. It happens, <laughs> Under man. the table. It happens. Under the sheets. Under I fucked your sheets. mother. Created your brother. <laughs> Under the sheets. <laughs> Everything's better down when she's wetter. Under the sheets. <laughs> Speaking of Disney. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh gosh. So what else is going on? Are you going to some of these concerts that are coming up? I fucking want to, man. I'm going to sign up for the uh, the wait list for the uh, Baroness one for sure. Cause I He's definitely been getting more them. into Baroness. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, uh, They're such song. a good band. Such a good Recommend uh, 10 my, out of 10. My favorite song right now is Tourniquet. I fucking yeah. love I fuck with that song. I mean, I do like... Um, official heart and it's broken. Yeah. Never started. I like uh, I like take these bones away too. Yeah. Take these bones away. <laughs> it's a good one too, man. I find them every day. He's rocking a Baroness shirt. I can see it. We Hell both we yeah. have the same shirt. We bought it at the last show. Hell yeah. Oh, that's the one where you uh, stopped by my house, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah after yeah. the show, we stopped by your house because yeah. it was right there at Black Circle. Yeah. Not yeah. to give away your spot. <laughs> I got a. I got a. I, I'm in between Cold Blooded Angels and Borderlines. Cold Blooded Angels is so good. So good. So good. I've heard that one, but uh, I, I've heard Borderlines. That's a fucking solid song. Get me out of line. Yeah. I, was, I was telling Kevin earlier, uh, I've really been really into like fucking. Uh, it sucks because they just broke up, but the new Every Time I Die album was like the best fucking album they made ever. Who? Every single time you die. Every single time I die. No, every <laughs> time I die. They have this song called Dark Distance, and it just from the gate, they, it just guns blazing. I was like, holy shit, this is the fucking heaviest album this band has ever made. Like, it just like. You they hear, went hard. hear about that uh, big emo fest that they just yeah, announced? Yeah, in Vegas, <laughs> about to bring yeah. that up. <laughs> yeah, man. The only so good it's... band on there is Kitty for me. That's the only one I, w- I was gonna I say, would see. dude. They, they, their marketing is that it's down payment of just twenty dollars, but it's like it's two, a three hundred dollars show. Yeah. Yeah. Some people think it's that's, a scam. That's starting like out. A, Honestly, I'm like still, a fire festival yeah, type I'm of thing. Still on Did you watch the, that, Doc? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm still on the fence for. I'm just like this. I still feel like, like this is fake. Sixty bands. Well, not only that, it's like one day, and like some of those right. bands haven't played. Like My Chemical Romance hasn't played shows in like a fucking decade. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah. But and then it's from like eleven, 11 to eleven, twelve 11, hours of, and 11, there's like sixty three bands or whatever. Eleven at like midnight, I think. It's or when it, I heard it was twelve hours. Eleven, eleven in yeah. Las Vegas in October. Dude, 
That's too many bands playing at one time. You ain't gonna be able to hear shit. Well, they do that. They do like festivals where there's different yeah, stages going on. Yeah, probably be like a off. main stage and then like two but side stages. But not like sixty bands. I don't know. I, mean, I would say you'd probably be able to maybe see like a solid half of them if you start in the morning and like go until the end. But you're gonna be fucking tired. Shit. You're just gonna have to. I like know. Me choose. and Sarah went to Louder Than Life last year and it wore us the fuck <coughs> out, dude. Yeah, dude. I went that, that year. I went to Riot Fest to see uh, the Misfits and Deftones and Rob Zombie and uh, Tiger it's so Army. So draining. I was only there for like six or seven hours, and I was like, by the end of it, I was like, "Fuck!" And you're I mean, spending it was, so much right. money, it was, dude. I mean, it was it was awesome. Like that lineup was tight, but at the same time, I was like, "I am fucking tired as fuck." I was like, right. "And I got to drive back to Indianapolis." I was like, "This sucks." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Chicago, huh? So I think we're all yeah. in our thirties, aren't we? Yep. Are you guys feeling it? Yeah, dude. Yeah, especially yeah. I feel like feeling it in my hips now because I've been like lifting weights for so long. Yeah, right, I did like some deadlift shit on tuesday and my hip is still sore like three days later dude i was like fuck this man fuck this getting old fucked shit up neck for like three years um, oh yeah dude i uh i like i did something i need funky. to exercise <laughs> i need a fucking i don't know i was working out and like i'd like tweak my neck and i had this little neck pain for like two days i was like oh, oh i hate those this is dumb I don't or like if you like turn your head too fast right. and oh, shit and that just, just goes wham just a big old Come line on. of hurt up yeah. your neck. I mean, I already have messed up hips, so I was just like, man, I am not looking forward to being forty. I'm know. like, I'm being hurting. <laughs> this <laughs> is forty. It's Judd starting. Apatow. Is that Judd Apatow? Yep, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul <laughs> Rudd, man. It just seems like a Judd Apatow. It's Dude, starting to get hard it's like for you Keanu guys Reeves. to wake up. It's just aging in reverse. Leslie like, like, Mann, too, right? Yeah, yep. Oh, there's more concerts coming up. Oh, we're going to see Tool. Oh, but there's they. Uh, we just bought tickets to. Megadeth, Lamb of God, and In Flames. No shit. See, In Flames and Lamb of God. And Trivium, but In Flames is playing first. Yeah. So Boo, they should be in Trivium spot. Oh, is Trivium the last band? <laughs> no, they're the second band. Then I mean, Lamb of God, then Megadeth. I mean, I like Trivium, but I, I would go to see Lamb of God and In Flames. Uh, we got never... pit tickets. It's, oh, it's nice. up there in Fort Wayne, though. Okay, um, I'm not a big fucking Megadeth fan though, honestly. Yeah, like, me neither. I was like, there's a couple songs I'm like, okay, that's a banger. Honestly, like between like them, Metallica, and Iron Maiden, I probably like Metallica more. Yeah. I'm like, I like, and I actually, I probably like Iron Maiden more. Than I like, well, uh, the big four was uh, Megadeth, Metallica, Slayer, and Anthrax. I don't do Slayer really. I um, I like or Anthrax. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't like Anthrax. Um. I like there's like two albums by Slayer. But they like. were on Married with Children, that was cool. Anthrax. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, the albums I fuck with by uh Slayer are uh Raining Blood, which is their like their not their first one, but it's like their first big like studio album. And it's got like three songs that are just fucking awesome. Uh Raining Blood, it's like a classic. Um, From a lacerated sky. Yep, yeah, and uh Angel of Death is a fucking really good one too. That's a tight Angel song. Of death. Angel of Death! Yeah. <laughs> the tight song. And yeah, then the other I know, one... I, f- I know all the main songs. The other album I fuck with is... Uh, it's called uh, Disciple. Uh, it's got that song God Hates Us All on it. That's a fucking tight song. Like That's a that's probably like... That was like their move think, from like thra- the thrash sound like in like the 80s to like a more modern like metal sound. And I think they're retired now. They did a... Like a farewell tour and shit. Yeah, yeah, and it's probably time. I mean, they've been fucking doing music <laughs> yeah, no, for. Dude looks like friggin'. Well, that's kind of the same. That's just shit Tom I feel Araya. about Metallica. How I feel about them is like I like shit. Dude, they weren't that good when I seen them at Louder Than Life that I that I just talked about. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they like, messed only, up a lot. You can only do. <laughs> did, did well, you can only do so much. But when I saw old. them in Mich- Michigan, they fucking crushed it. But I honestly, I, I like, haven't really liked was. any of their albums since the Black album. Like, I was kind of like where they sl- it slid off for me. I'm like, like Sad Anger, is t- fucking. That what so are you bad. talking about? That's the best album. Sad thing around my oh, neck. He never gets respect. You push it out. You push it out. Remember? Good shit. It's the, you and know, his it's snare the... sounded god awful. 
Like, it sounded like a fucking trash can. That's because fucking Lars can't play the drums. He sucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows it. Nobody nobody wants to admit it. Lars doesn't true. know it. Uh, He's just in the pocket and shit, right? Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's like that. And it's sad that that song is the best song on the album. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. The rest of it's trash. Frantic, tick, tick. Tick 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 tock. Tick 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 tock. Yeah, he freaking he. I remember that one being on like was it Rock Band or was that Guitar Hero song? Maybe it was the Metallica one. Oh yeah, <laughs> they had a Metallica. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I played the shit out of that one though. Man, but it's like you can't beat the classes like for whom the bell tolls and master puppets. Da 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 da. Right on a hill in the early day, guns and chill deep inside. I know, someone Guitar Hero is the shit, though, man. I'm gonna play some more Guitar Hero. Yeah. I have hill men would kill why they do not know. Cuts and wounds fill the purr. I can't remember the words. <laughs> fucking. Cuts and wounds. Cuts and pride. Who they die. Yeah. <laughs> None of us know the lyrics. <laughs> I fucking yeah. love that song, though. Everybody man. knows. But we all heard it in our heads. Like. It's, they're one of those. That's a, such an iconic riff, man. They're it's one of those bands that you don't remember like the marching. lyrics until the music is playing. Yeah. And you're like. <laughs> My favorite song by them is uh, "Trapped Under Ice," which is actually a fucking tight hardcore band too. Like, but uh, I just ride the lightning. That's my that's my shit. I fucking <laughs> love ride the lightning. Ride so, it, bro. Ride <laughs> it. Ride cool. lightning all night long. Fucking. Dude, it gets stuck in your head, man. We'll, we'll listen to it later. Yeah, listen to it later. We'll throw it on. Um, what else has been going on, Drew? Man, oh, I'm fucking newbie dude. He thought here. of us. He said, "I have Thursday off. What? I'm gonna hit up I'm gonna the homie spend my Kevin." Day off with the boys. <laughs> with the boys. Uh, I've been fucking working in Carmel for like the last month. It kind of sucks. Like the uh, the staff is cool. Like it was just. It's kind of. It's kind of funny how it like uh, work sucks. Yeah, I know. Why is Blink One Eighty Two not playing? This show? <laughs> right. Sorry. But uh, no, you're good, man. Uh, it's just like it's like the quote from Clarks. You know, it's like this job would be fucking awesome if it wasn't for the for goddamn, goddamn customers. Yeah, customer. <laughs> yeah. That's a great yeah. classic quote. We haven't done a Kevin Smith movie yet on the Movie Talk oh. episodes. Original Clerks or animated series? Uh, Re- Reginald Clark. I mean, he's got, he's got a lot of good movies in his lineup, though. Like, Clerks, Chasing the Amy's he's got good. some stinkers, like, too. Rats. Mall Rats. Yeah. Like, Tuscan. Uh, Hogu, Yoga Hoser. I haven't Yoga. seen that one. I've heard it's bad. I so. haven't it's watched bad. it either. You know what, though? Like, uh, that first one he did that was like a thriller, Red Dawn, was actually Red fucking... State. Red, Red State. Red State, yeah. Red State yeah. was actually really good. I have it on DVD. I had to buy it on DVD because no one will stream it and shit because of the nature of the movie i guess yeah really because you know what is it about it's about some kids who try to go do a threesome with some lady and uh she's like luring her yeah. luring them in for like that some cold because they're super religious like a, yeah, and they, super... they're like oh you guys were gonna both make love to me at the same time you guys are gay so they cage him up and shit yeah and they fucking torture him and they kill one of them i think or both the I don't think, know. I don't think anybody makes it out. I can't remember though. It's been a long time. <laughs> and you got John time. Goodman in there. Yeah, right. yeah, fucking yeah. You do, want this beer? You I, know that I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you got me started. <laughs> yep. It's the gravy train now, baby. You <laughs> push me off the goddamn wagon. <laughs> I'm thinking about them Five Guys Burgers. Oh, dude, me too. <laughs> We've been talking about Fucking going to Five Guys Burgers. Double bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you get the big burger. Yep, I'm fatty. The double patty. <laughs> double crab patty. They like. just, they're expensive, <laughs> but they're pretty damn good, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. 
Who I, uh, knew Five Guys tasted so good in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on, man. Yum, well, yum. Looks like all give the, me some. Right? <laughs> Although, I guess all those porn stars had it right. Like, shit. Like, yum, yum. Give me some. <laughs> oh, no. Down my throat and then to my tongue. <laughs> all Five Guys. <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit the fries they're all greasy and shit and good as fuck yep <laughs> they, oh, yeah. and they load them up you buy a small dude they the fill fucking... up a whole brown sack of right them. and I'm like you want some nuts you, you want like... some nuts with that <laughs> nuts you know I was just watching that old clip of uh, you know the podcast when I was talking about the guy who shoves his nuts in his butt <laughs> 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 that was one of the hardest laughs on this podcast man <laughs> he a, had he had loose mud flaps for sure <laughs> <laughs> he would stretch his balls out and like stick them in his butthole and uh he Bruce. liked to get fucked in the ass while his nuts were in his butt get how that's even possible <laughs> and the the funny line in that clip too is like uh he said it was pretty cool when he jacks off because he could tug on his nuts with his asshole <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that shit. <laughs> oh, oh boy. That was good. good shit. Yeah, sometimes I just look back on those clips, dude, and they're just fun to watch sometimes. Oh man, yeah. Uh you should go you guys should go watch, watch Go watch some, the clips. Go to the go to the clips, go watch some of the older episodes. Run it through. Run it back. I'd like to, I'd like to do the subscribe. podcast with James again, man. I fucking that dude's hilarious. I was thought I thought about hitting him up, dude. I think I he think works. Though, la- yeah, yeah, I think the last time we tried to get him on, he said he's working, working like, right now. We'll freaking Facetime him. Do it. Do it. <laughs> live stream that shit. Uh, You're on the. Board. I'll, I'll send him a text real quick. I know the last time I saw him, he came to. He came to like the very last, one of the very last shifts I work at Union Jacks. And then I did that podcast with you guys, like, uh, like I think it was like, er, like the beginning of November. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. I just quit my job. I don't even care. Yeah. Because I, I didn't really need it anymore. I was, and I was like, so sick of it. Oh, yeah. I was going to, you never got to go to Japan, did you? No, man. No. That COVID, COVID shit. shit, man. COVID. I know you're talking about that. Just a little bit before COVID, I think. Yeah, right. I mean, I had everything few bought months before too. Yeah, I had everything bought and fucking. I mean, I, it's like now it's just like, man, I don't even want to fuck with trying to like set it up again. I'm not, probably gonna wait another like two or three years before I try and go. Just because I just don't want to deal with any of this like international well, COVID yeah, bullshit. Yeah, you gotta get yeah. a vaccine yeah. for sure, probably. Yeah, yeah, and there's just like. Yeah. There's just too much with it where I'm just like I don't want to like pay this much money only for everything to get fucked again. So I'm just and there's I'm gonna like, wait yeah. it out and then I'm, there's like I'm a gonna go vaccine passport or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that bullshit. really. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I hear so I heard something about that. <laughs> um, apparently, uh, I was talking to my barber and apparently that's not true. Like you can fucking it's more like a, a U.S. thing really, where like they'll like if you. Um, you travel and you come back they like make you do like a mandatory like quarantine for two weeks like shit like that they're like back to doing that kind of shit mandatory metallica on x103 but yeah i just right now i I don't want to fuck with any of that and plus i want to like move out of my house i want to get an apartment do my sister see i want to do the opposite i want to get out of fucking apartments and get goddamn house i fucking can't stand apartments yeah the thing is like uh let me get a house here keith yeah. I, like, this is the thing about having a house, though, is, like... The, the house I buy will not be in this state. <laughs> that's probably a good call, but yeah. it, um, honestly, a lot of the time, it's better to just, like... If you can get in an area that's being developed, and you can get, like, a decent price on a, like, a newly built an house... up-and-coming neighborhood? Yeah, yeah, where yeah. it's not, like, pre-established and super expensive. It's almost better to do that, man, because buying, a, like, especially a used home... There's just so much shit you don't Shit's foresee. So expensive right now. Yeah, and it's like the upkeep for it. Like, I mean, you have to buy a bunch of fucking tools and like a lawnmower. Like, there's so much upkeep you have to do so you don't like get fined for like your yeah. like yard and shit. Like, there's just I know I hate 
Oh, and then like after a couple of years, you have to replace your roof, and it's like a ten thousand dollars. Why like, don't yeah. we all? Why don't we all just put our money together, get a big <laughs> ass homestead, and fucking do it if it's start a cult? No, well, n- we, I mean, we could mushroom, but... mushroom cult. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, we'll get a. <laughs> We're gonna start a cult. We'll get a compound. If you want us to and start, we'll a start cult. our own society, our own fucking. I'm down for it. I fucking hate and this we'll, one. Like, <laughs> and we'll fuck yeah. everybody's wives. That's right. <laughs> right? That's their, a, that's what their, cult leaders do. In their butts. Hey, like, yeah. <laughs> we're going to get you, too, and put our dicks in your butt. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when we started the our last last one we did together, we, we did the uh, parody of Another One Bites the Dust. <laughs> and we were like, dun, 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 dun. another dick in the butt. Another dick in the butt. butt. Mm. And another one comes, comes and another, another one comes, comes another dick in the butt. Mm. Hey, we're, we're gonna, gonna get, get you too and put our dicks in your butt. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Man, I was. I, I, <laughs> you know what's funny, man? Like I tried to put that clip on TikTok too, and they they fucking denied it because <laughs> <laughs> they what they like removed the sound because we said we're gonna get you and put our dicks in your butt. <laughs> 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 they, they, he just came off as rapey, just rapey, just you know, just straight sodomy over here at uh, pretty Sector Seven G. Like, uh, Come on uh, down for some sodomy at Sector Seven G. Reminds me of the girl I was like fucking for a while. <laughs> She was just Sorry. like, she was no, because she was just like, she was like fucking. He, he, she he said the two. Fuck, cracked up on coke, and she's just like, hey, oh. you know, when I'm when I'm fucking when I'm speed freaking, she's like, I kind of like to get fucked in the ass, and I was like, speed freak away, baby. Uh, all right, I mean, you <laughs> Let's get on, get you get on. Speedy. I just kind of did a Jack Black thing. I was like, you get on top and do whatever you like. Like I don't, I don't even care. Like let's do it. You should have said. Well, call me Speedy Gonzalez. Underlay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, he got uh, canceled, right? Maybe, <laughs> or maybe he canceled himself. Yeah, bro. just like Pepe Le Pew. Yeah, it's like all the, it's like yeah. all this shit's so dumb. Like it's old uh, cartoons. Like who gives a fuck? Like what's can- what's canceling it now? Gonna kids affect, don't even like, watch that shit. Yeah. yeah, they don't even know who they are. I was like, what is it? Like uh, it's dumb. Cancel culture, but they'll still print Betty Boop shit on There's everything. A- there's a new um, Louis C.K. special that I've been meaning what? to watch, but I haven't watched yet. He's got another one. You gotta, you gotta buy it off his website since he's, you know, canceled and shit. Oh yeah. Damn, dude. Honestly, I don't even care what anybody he, says. Like, he's a great fucking stand-up man. He's well, it's like uh, he's legendary. It's like Chappelle. All the flack he got for his last special, I was like, I don't even care. I fucking loved it. I thought it was I loved hilarious. it too, man. Yeah, dude. Uh. Like the re- I, like, I was like kind of hard bit. <laughs> <laughs> I got like there was a couple people just like no, it's so transphobic. And I was like nah, man, he's just fucking saying how he feels about this shit. It's like you know, man. just because like someone has a different opinion about something that doesn't like, I'm just so tired of this. Like oh well, okay, so you don't like you said something I don't like. You're transphobic. Like everything you're saying is offensive. Yeah, he's a comedian. He's supposed to say offensive shit, man. Right. Like, that's what makes you laugh. I just watched the uh, Jim Gaffigan special. A comedy monster. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, classic Gaffigan. Yeah. He's been doing the rounds on all the podcasts. I've been listening to Has some he? of those. Yeah. Yeah. He was on Rogan. He was on know. the fucking um, We Might Be Drunk. <laughs> I like I like it. I do like listening to him because he's like he says shit so clean and just like I'm like all right I'm not being a scumbag by listening to Jim Gaffigan he's right. like the cleanest fucking jokes in the game you know who's right? another one like that fucking Brian Regan he's oh, not, yeah I'm not familiar with him oh man. he's so fucking funny <laughs> he's I know like you turn the ear you, you turn me on to like Chad Daniels and we um, just saw Chad Daniels recently yeah you turn me on to him and um there's another comedian that's kind of like him Mark Norman. Um, or or no, turn, Dan did, Cummins. Dan Cummins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you, I they mean, always get lumped together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, their co- their comedy style is kind of similar. I mean, uh, Dan Cummins is a little more hateful than Chad, I think. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, but uh, but they're like they're pretty kind of similar in that way. Uh, yeah. No, I love Mark Norman though. Mark Norman, like, 
he's he's, my he's top a one right word, now, yeah dude. He's, he's, so, he's like so <laughs> prolific and yeah, he's, right. he's just like a pure comic and he's just it's he great says because crazy, right? yeah he, does, well, he, he just says anything that pops yeah in his that's why I look I like comics like him like Mark uh, Mark Norman Dave Chappelle yeah, Bill Burr like they just don't they don't fucking care they just like they say what's on their mind it's cool like it's it's nice to see like somebody that still has that freedom that's like I mean they're still I gonna know, get ostracized right? but like they're just like yeah you know fuck you it's comedy like, it's say com- whatever the fuck you want right? you know what I mean yeah just say shit. Just to shock people into, you know, laughter. Yeah, and it's just like, I think there's at some point where people have to realize, it's like, you know, it's... People get offended Yeah, it's it's fine to say that you're offended, but then to be like, oh, well, you can't say that anymore because it offends me. Yeah, to try to take away fucking... And it's just like, that's not how that works. I was like, you know, just because something triggers you, like, that is not the fault of anybody around you like they're he's just like it's a comedy show they're not attacking you yeah the, it's like it's the not intention their, is not it's to not, fucking yeah, hurt well, anybody it's not it's to get else, laughs for the laugh it's not someone else's responsibility right. to walk on eggshells to make sure you don't get triggered it's yeah. your responsibility to, to work on yourself to like be able to take that well, kind of, well just, to to emotion be emotionally um mature enough to be like okay i don't like this I don't like what this person is saying. It's not funny to me. It doesn't have like, to ruin your day. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, but like, why would I mean, you everybody, buy the ticket? Well, and everybody goes through traumatic shit, man. It's just like that's what I get. What's bothers me about everything now is like everybody has experiences that are traumatic, right? Like, but it's not society's problem to tiptoe around like what yeah. makes you feel bad. It's your responsibility to grow and like not let that hold you down anymore like i've been through Speaking a lot of the sh- truth brother i've been through a lot right. of shit in my life man and it's like it's no one's responsibility to like not say something that's like gonna offend me because there right. are there is shit that i'm like man that really bothered me and like when i was younger like when i would hear stuff that really like like when people would make cancer jokes like i had a lot of like family die from cancer it used to really fucking get under my skin because it was like so fresh but then as i got older i was like nah man it's not everybody else's responsibility to not say like hurtful shit about that kind of stuff like they're yeah. trying to make light of it and you know so that way you can like cope with it that's what comedy is about yeah that's, and so i was like you know it's not their say, responsibility to the fucking tiptoe around my feelings it's my they job to about like mature and like <laughs> understand what it is right. like you know Mm-hmm. So everybody like goes through those situations, and it's just like, nah, man, you don't have the right to fucking cancel somebody or like, oh, well, you can't make those jokes. Fuck you, I'm making these jokes. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. That's why you can't call them chicks with dicks anymore. I, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're not chicks with dicks. The dudes with boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask them what they what they prefer to be referred as. Yeah. Nowadays, get ass. <laughs> and, for their but pronoun. you know, and that that's like that's something that's like you know, if you're cool about it, you're like, hey, that's not what I identify as. Can you please just? I know you don't have to be a cunt yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, and it's like you don't have to be a fake cunt about it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be a plastic part about it. Yeah, like <laughs> ring ding do. Now what is that? That's round and soft like a pussy cat. <laughs> don't they turn your dick inside out? I don't. I have, <laughs> I don't know much about the process. I have no idea. <laughs> don't want to. We don't say. have to go there. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm such a, I'm such a whore though. I was like, you know, I've never fucked a fake pussy before. I wonder what that's like. I wonder <laughs> what it feels like. Oh, well, there's like the Sa- Chappelle on his last special. He's like, that's like impossible pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really believe- sure how it's made, but <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it's not pussy. <laughs> I'm buying that product. <laughs> jokes, people, uh, jokes. But I tell, but I'm sure this is a comedy show. Oh boy! Fuck well, I'm gonna go grab a round. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Oh, okay. Oh uh, shit! Fucking uh. So what? What animes have you been? Uh, oh shit! Have you heard about Berserk? Have you been caught up on that? Well, what's up with that, man? Uh, I don't think they're making it anymore. No, no. Well, it's because the uh, the writer died, man. Like yeah. Yeah, but so I'm just trying to. Uh, I have basically um, all the uh, deluxe volumes. So they basically it's like um, 
They took three manga volumes and combined them into these giant, like, black Bibles. Yeah. That oh, have the really? insignia. Yeah, so I have eight of them. Um, I bought up to ten. <clears throat> so I'm basically all the ones they released for that, I'm just going to buy. Because I want all the existing series. Yeah. So I love, dude, the Berserk is awesome. I mean, right. The fucking Moonlight. Fucking child. Yeah. Uh, the, spoiler the, alert. Uh, the, the, but, um, dude, just like. <laughs> I mean, there are definitely parts of it where, you uh, know, it's very, like, this is the darkest shit I've ever seen in any. What are we talking about? I'm talking about Berserk. It's a uh, man. Berserk. Berserk. <laughs> Would you like to suck my cock, Berserker? Would you like to make fuck Berserker? <laughs> Would you make like, some fuck? did he say, like, making fuck? <laughs> Sorry, no, man, it's a, your no, no, you're good, man. It's a it's a Japanese comic book. It's fucking awesome. Oh, it's like a, cool. It's a <laughs> super, super, super. Hande Suzuki Subaru. It's a super uh, Toyota. <laughs> it's a super fucking famous uh, Japanese comic yeah. uh, horror comic, and uh, it's eclipse. most famous. It's most famous scene is the called the human sacrifice scene. So this character sacrifices his entire like band of friends and army yeah. to demons to be like devoured by them, and Dirty then he eclipse. turns into a demon in this ritual and then rapes his best friend's girlfriend in front of him. Like damn, bro. Yeah, he he went hard in the paint on that one. Like <laughs> and then, it's and, and then, he be- he became. Became the most hated character in fucking yeah. like and in then, all of like comics. And then Casca's like fucking mind breaks and she becomes. I mean, for good reason. Like, yeah. it's like it you just saw all. Shit. Yeah, you saw all your friends get fucking eaten by demons, and then you get raped by someone who you're in love with, who is raping you while you're looking at your boyfriend like that's yeah. that's a that's a hard he situation like, to be it. in like he like rips his own arm off and, to try to get to her he loses an eyeball and this is the this is the craziest part about this like story is it's not even the most fucked up part of the story <laughs> it's like you like you think this is bad and then you get to the trolls and you're like holy mm. fuck <laughs> Yeah. It's El Diablo. Look, I got a non-point koozie. Because hey, me and Mike and Sarah went to go see him. I wish they had a better sorry. set list, but the, it was still fun. Did you did did you do it? It's El Diablo. Did, what, what, did, did you go? He made your taco. Yeah. No. They didn't play that song, special dude. For me. They didn't yeah, play all the good true. songs that I like. They played the other songs that are, you know, I barely Not know. Good. Barely know, you know? Dude, I don't even remember the last fucking show I went to. It might have been the Tool show with you guys, honestly. Oh, man. I think it's all Tool m- together. Was that at KFC, too? No, we went to uh, oh, the downtown. Ba- Bakers Live. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think it was like three years ago. I think it was in 2019. See, Mike, Mike has just been getting into Tool within the last, you know, six months or so, and uh, so he finally, so he wanted to, he he really wanted to go, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, let's buy tickets, bro." I miss that man, dude. He's I a good dude. Go. Man. I know he's been missing you guys too. He talks about hanging out with you guys all the time. I gotta, I'm trying to find a day where I could take off, like a Friday. Yeah, so we'll go to his. Out. We'll go to his house. We'll jam acoustics. Yeah, I am. Um, I usually have Sundays off. I'm gonna hit him up some Sunday, like and see like what's going on. Yeah. Miss you, buddy. <sighs> real, real talk, man. That's a dude, man. I <laughs> it's like I see guy. you guys on opposite weeks, you know. Right. I would love you to guys are never right together now. anymore. No. Just winging it. It's heartbreaking. It. Swinging it. But I'm working to try to get some equipment. Like I said, working I want to get those hard lights. hard to make a living where I come from. I want to get some better lights. That I, the ones I want to, if I, if it's uh, the right one, it'll have everything I need. Plus, you could be able to change the colors on it, too. Yeah, I'm just... Just trying to get an apartment for me and my little sister. And then hey. I want to get my whole fucking leg tattooed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you see Sarah's new tattoo? I haven't, no. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll look at it after this. We have to mention the board today. Oh, because yeah. Because it's freaking funny as it's hell. It's fucking on <laughs> money. Richard Gear Solid. <laughs> Richard Gear Solid. What do you think of when you hear Richard Gear Solid? I think of the game, but he's just running around 
in the game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I, uh, I, uh, I, in you, a box. I never really played that game, but uh, what, what is it like a open world type of thing? No, it's no. like a stealth game, man. Like, oh, it's yeah. just. Yeah, it's like I've an action it. stealth game. Okay. I made it to my mission. <laughs> Honestly, when no. you when you first said it, I thought it more like doing me a salad, like regular show, like Richard Mordecai, salad, do me, me a salad, <laughs> do me a Richard Gear salad. Can I get a Richard Gear salad from you, bro? <laughs> Richard <laughs> Gear salad. Oh. <laughs> You're overusing your solids, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that show is so fucking good. Yeah, dude. Why is it so good? It's so ridiculous. Did you watch the uh, HBO Max series that they got close enough? Yeah, dude, I, I actually know, I really liked one, it, yeah. man. Like uh, JG Quintel, that's a good series. Yeah, it was like a more adult G. version Quintel. of that. Like it was still ridiculous, but I was like, I was a little. It wasn't really more toned down. I was just a, a little more like, I was like, yeah. Like when they were talking about being thirty and all that shit, I was like, "Yeah, yeah this yeah. this is on the money for it's that." What it's like? We're we're the right demographic for that show. Yeah. Oh man, I'm starting to feel my thirties. I don't like it. Yeah. Dirty thirties. Dirty thirties for <laughs> sure, man. <laughs> Those dirty What's nuts. You know what though, man? I, I'll say this: it's weird. Like, say it. Because I was such an awkward like teenager, and I was like, it, it like took me a while to like become who I am now, like, in my 20s, I have had way more pussy in my 30s than when I was in my fucking 20s. Hey, like, there way, you way go. Way, more, like... The, getting it. Yeah. I look at that, that one, the girl I was telling you that was, like, a fucking cokehead, she kind of looks like Christina Ritchie, so it was, like, fucking... Oh, it was, like, really... Nice. It was really hard. I was big just, forehead. Well, no, she didn't have the big forehead, though. <laughs> she didn't have the big forehead. She just had, like, those, like, not her nice, like, facial features, and she sure. had, like, yeah. some big titties, like, some, some big, real nice, titties. real fa- real titties. But I was just yeah, like, she's man. she's pretty. Um, that's how this girl was, but I was just like, man, I feel like if I keep hanging out with you, I'm going to start doing coke again, and I don't want to do no this that way. No. It's just like, yeah, this is like. And I, it was like the sex was so good, so I was just like, I was like, I, I, I had that like little deep. I was like, hey, if um, if the girl that you're supposed to go on a date with on Sunday doesn't show up, you could always just hit up this like hit up Amber. And I was like, no, don't do that, dude. Like, uh, don't. You, it's bad for you. You go to ruin bad. your yeah, life. You're gonna. She will fuck my life up. But pussy's so good. <laughs> <laughs> It's a real all beef pussy, not that impossible <laughs> pussy. <laughs> now they got like impossible chicken at KFC and shit. Do they? Yeah. Oh, that's it's, probably you know, disgusting. What, I, and I kind of figured out what it is too, man. It's just like I just am more comfortable as myself. So I just I don't fucking I just don't care. Like I don't I don't like really try and impress anybody anymore. I'm like, hey, this is me. You're either gonna like it or you won't. And if you don't, don't really give a fuck. That's on you. Like, I wish I gave yeah. less of fucks, but I'm always like super in my head. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I overthink everything. Well, you know the you know the, yeah. the answer to that is you, you just gotta be a piece of shit, man. That's that's how it works. <laughs> Right? Like, yeah. like me, like I'm a total, I'm kind of a scumbag, and I'm just like, I yeah, wish it's I was fine. More like, like you, Drew. <laughs> yeah, just I'm a, gonna be like you when I grow up. Just a, just a Drew bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if we switch places a for a day, Drew like bag. a bad sitcom episode? Oh man, <laughs> to switch lives. Yeah. <laughs> My life is way harder than yours. No. <laughs> no, I don't. You would make it one day in my life. Yeah, you would. Yeah, in my shoes. Yeah. I mean, I look. I don't know. See, we could write a. Song. Yeah, I think we. I think we'd have to have some rules, man. Because like, <laughs> we have to definitely talk to mom first. Like, we're like, all right, so we're gonna switch places for a day, but this, this is, this is how this is gonna roll down. No. I don't know. My my life's not hard. The only the hardest part of my life is like dealing with fucking caramel people. No, but I, like, it's different being in someone's brain. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you're talking that. That type. Oh of Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, like you're some freaky, like meta- yeah, shit. some freaky, like metaphysical oh, like type body deal. swapping. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh shit, dude. Nobody swap with my body. <laughs> you know my intimate secrets. Uh, I don't want to be. Uh, you're gonna look down and laugh. Oh <laughs> man. Uh, there's parts of my brain you want no part of. I promise right. you. Like. <laughs> yeah. I think oh. everybody's got a little. Everybody. 
like a little uh tuck away area where you're like nope not for anybody shut it down no. so yeah yeah just just you know just gloss over that shit like you just walk right by it. like you don't you don't need to look into that at all like that's one of those where they pop in you're like get the fuck out of here <laughs> Yeah, shoving out thoughts. Yeah. Pushing them down. Oh, Deep have, down. You guys ever have those fucking, you remember something super embarrassing, but it's so embarrassing that you fucking make noises when you... You can't sleep at night? Like, <laughs> no, you'll just be like doing something, and you get like a random, where you remember something embarrassing, and then you be like, uh... <laughs> I know, I hate that, dude. There's a goblin trying to get in. <laughs> a go- what's a goon to a goblin? <laughs> what's a goblin to a gobble But uh, Yeah, there are those times where you're laying in bed and you just think of something stupid you did back in the day and you're just like, fuck. <laughs> you can't sleep. It's uh, like, yeah, you just like, you, you're like, you, it's the, where would my life be now if I hadn't made those decisions? Yeah. Dude, everybody, everybody does that, man. Yeah. It's, but like, you it's the human condition. But at the same time, like you like it's like it's fine to let that play out for a little while, but like I'm like, okay. Right. Like I am where I am now. Like it doesn't matter. I know, like, right? It just it's already matter. done. I can't, right. I can't change it. So I'm just like, okay. It's like, yes. yeah, I'm fur- I'm feeling a certain type of way about it now, but I was like, but in the morning I just gotta I gotta put on my like, right. strap my bo- boots together and go about my day because I can't change it. Not if you're strapping them together. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say strap in or strap on? Jesse. What do we got here, Jesse? Paper boy. <laughs> Goddamn it, Pewter Schmidt. Get back in this closet. I'm so sick of you. <laughs> I got some popsicles. <laughs> Who wants to see my purple heart? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Whoever swallows the most Highland all PMs you know, I've been watching, wins. <laughs> I haven't watched Family Guy in a really long time, but for some reason I just, just to have something on, I've, I started watching South Park again. I haven't really watched that in a long oh, ass time man. either. Dude, dude. But I I put, like, I started from the beginning, so it was all, like, nostalgic and yeah, shit. I was yeah. like, oh, shit, I remember all this fucking yeah, shit. I think I fell off at, like, season, like, 15 or 16, like. I fell off with PC Principal. Yeah, that's that's uh, where I st- kind of stopped watching. I was like, eh, yeah, all right. Uh, but, dude, the fucking... The, I didn't see the new one they put on Paramount, because I don't have that app. Yeah, I'm, me, I don't want to fucking... Oh, the Ugh. special, the COVID special? But the COVID special on fucking HBO Max was money, dude. It was I so on point that. and so Maybe funny. Maybe I should watch it. Dude, and it's I saw that funny. I saw that Cartman, he's a Jew now. He's like a... Jewish priest or something like that now. Oh, uh, that's the later one, post COVID. Yeah, oh, so that, yeah, it? that's the one they're growing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen that one yet, but the the but the fucking the COVID special. <laughs> Oh, is that the one Randy, where he's like, I'm going to come Randy over and Marsh, shoot in your mouth? Oh, how, how they cure COVID is Randy Marsh literally fucking comes on fucking weed and then people smoke it <laughs> and it cures COVID. It's it's the most ridiculous shit. It's so ridiculous. Is it only Randy's cum that cures it though? Only Randy's cum, yep. <laughs> and then he, he turns out I that, thought this was America. And then it turns out that Randy actually caused COVID to come to America because he had sex with a bat. With because oh. he was like hanging out with Mickey Mouse. So oh. it was like He's like, come on, come on, Randy, you gotta do it at least once. Like, <laughs> I'm doing it, you gotta do it too. Oh. So that's, how, that's how we got COVID, and he's the reason that's why it. America has COVID. Like, it's fucking it's, ridiculous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> and so, like, there's like a. There's like they find this evidence, so Randy goes to like the lab to steal the evidence, like, <laughs> like so he doesn't, so nobody finds out he's the reason why uh, COVID happened. Oh shit! Well, boys, oh. what do you say we go get some bergs? Oh yeah. Are you trying to go, Keith, or no? Uh, what time is it? It's tool time, motherfucker. Tool time. Uh, 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 uh. I'm definitely, I'm definitely trying to get burgers, man. Some like, bergs, bro. Some bergs to the herbs. Some bergs. Some urge to the you birds. ever fuck with five guys? Once. I've been there once. He said once. 
Well, it, you're about go. to be there twice. <laughs> Three <laughs> times the lady. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming through, Drew. Yeah, this was sure, man. This was fun. It's always a good time when you're on. Hey, Our DMP the patch. MVP. We gotta get you like a parader. You're a the plaque life of the something. party. <laughs> Just give me a little sash I can wear every time I come on from now on. <laughs> yeah. You get a jelly bean. I've uh, honestly probably been on like Aside from Mike, I probably the most frequent guest you guys have, honestly. For a while there, yeah. Chris Sullivan was coming on a lot. He's probably up there and we got a couple. I hope he's uh, doing good. I didn't get to see him before he uh yeah, did he already ship shout out. out Sully. Miss you, bro. I wish I could have fucking seen him. He's you in the Air Force now. Do you know who I'm talking about? I don't um, know if don't you guys know if did he yeah, I, don't, go... I don't think we ever crossed paths, man. I did was he... trying to look up when was the last time you were on. Did he already go I, to I Okinawa? I think it was probably, uh, it was either the weekend before November or the very first weekend of November. Yeah. Fuck. No. So it was either like wish October the best, 31st buddy. or like that very first weekend of November. I don't remember exactly when I quit uh, Union Jacks because I fucking, I was working so much then, but dude, I... When I quit there, it was a huge weight off my shoulders. I was like, thank God I don't have to fucking, fucking go to this place. To apply for a fucking work I'm working, dude. You just, you just want me to do all your heavy lifting, Keith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, th- no this... I'm thinking about it, man. I just, um. July, I'm, bro. I'm going to see what happens with this other gig first. But it, like I said, if that falls through, man, I'm, I'll definitely. Because, I mean, I'll pretty much know within like the next week or two if I'm going to get this job. So. All right. Fuck right. talking about work, right? Work, work sucks. I, I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do the harmony. Did you hear that? She All right. left me Thanks bruises in for my watching. Hair. Thanks for listening. Uh, hit us up on the on the socials. Yeah. Facebook, we're most active. Instagram. Cheers, bitches. Distorted <laughs> Minds Pod right. at gmail dot com. Send us TikTok. Send us. Um, if you got any topics feedback. you want us to talk about? Yeah. Yeah. Rate us, like us, like, eat our, subscribe. Eat our dicks, we eat know, our butts. We, we know what you like, those wiener and butt jokes. Lick like, my yeah. cornhole. Yeah, check us out on TikTok. I know we're not really that active, but we got some. Um, and just, we'll catch you on the flip side. Hey. Bye. Bye. On down for some sodomy at second <laughs> <or> seven G. <laughs> reminds me of the girl I was like fucking for a while. <laughs>